Drew and I'm gonna be doing a new video all about style inspiration and where I look to find a lot of my inspiration. I get this question all the time, just on random videos, on my lookbooks, on my Instagram. I feel like this video can be of use and a pretty good reference to just gear you guys in different directions and new websites or hasn't checked out some of the places I'm gonna mention. It might be a nice place for you to look at. Uh, keep in mind, I'm also filming on a Canon G7X. So I'm not filming on my main camera just because I have yet to get my microphone in and I'm hoping this one's audio quality is gonna be a little bit better. But let me know if you guys think the quality of this is not very good because I can definitely switch back in my next video. Not sure when I'm gonna get the microphone, but for now I'm gonna be using this camera. So let's just dive right into the video. The first place and my main place for style inspiration is a website and it is called Lookbook. If you have never been on Lookbook, you must try Lookbook. It is such a great website, it's called lookbook.nu. All the links to everything will be in the down bar below, but it is basically a website where users from around the world, you can create an account and then you can post your looks to the website. And I find it so inspirational. I've posted for so long, so make sure to follow me if you guys also have a lookbook account. You can browse through hot um, looks, new looks, trending looks, um, looks of the week, things like that. And you can also narrow them down by brand, color, style, what sort of item you wanna style super easily and just see everyone else and what they're wearing around the world. I'm also an avid Pinterest addict, so I'm always on Pinterest. I absolutely love Pinterest. Um, my Pinterest will be on the screen as well. I post a ton of menswear and women's wear on there. And this video is not only about menswear. I also do love looking at women's wear and I know about 50% of my followers on my YouTube account are women. So I wanted to um, steer you guys in the right direction as well if you are female. Um, so this is geared towards men and women. But Pinterest is a great resource for me. I love the outfits on Pinterest and it's just a place where I can go onto Lookbook and look through everything on Lookbook and then if I see one that I really like that I want to recreate or draw inspiration from in the future, I can repin it to my Pinterest page and the Pinterest is just sort of a place where everything I find from all my sources can just be compiled into one organized little section. So definitely follow me there. I love Pinterest, always on there, always, always pinning. Gearing more into blogs that I follow, blogs and Instagrams are also a main source of my inspiration. My own personal blog, it's called I'm Drew Scott.com. I will link it in the description box below. But I post my very own outfits on I'm Drew I also post a lot of other fashion related posts, lifestyle posts, photography posts. But I do have a section on my blog that is just daily reads and it's a spot in my sidebar where I post all of my favorite um, bloggers that I read all the time. Starting off with the menswear, I absolutely love Cup of Couple's blog. I don't know if you've ever checked them out, but definitely give them a go. Cup of Couple is the most perfect couple. It's two men and they're a couple and they have the greatest outfits, greatest wardrobe, best photography, cleanest layout, silhouettes, just something that you want to visit all the time. Also have to follow them on Instagram because their Instagram is Perfect, absolutely perfect. My friend also turned me onto a blog called Kate Loves Me, and I will link it also for you guys in the bottom bar below, but it's a guy, his name is Palayo Diaz, and he has an insane style. The whole wear crazy items, but he knows how to style them, and he knows how to put them together, and everything that he posts is just very quality. I also love how he mixes like Chanel bags into a, a menswear style, and he uses pieces from feminine wardrobes and mixes it into his masculine wardrobe, and he's very masculine looking himself. So it's just a really nice juxtaposition that is very appealing, and I love drawing from there. So the last menswear section, which also blends a little bit with women's wear since it is a men's and women's wear blog, it is actually a street style blog. It's called The Statorialist. If you've never been on the website, it is amazing. It's about a guy and he basically takes photos of people on the street, whether it's like just literally walking along the street or it's at fashion week or it's at an event. He has it really easily categorized between men and women and what you're looking for. You can um, search the archives and find exactly what you're looking for. It's super inspirational. It's kind of like a Pinterest on a website that one guy's created. As far as women's wear blogs, I absolutely love looking at women's wear blogs myself just because I love looking at color and silhouette. And so Park and Cube is my favorite women's wear blog of all time. Her blog is exquisite. She posts very, very quality content and make sure it's very editorial and it looks like a magazine and her layout of her blog is just perfect. Her name is Shinny Park and I love her blog. Sonia Esman is another blog I follow. Hers is Classes Internal. She's perfect. She's just very, very, very pretty and very Tumblr looking. Her outfits are also amazing. I love watching her videos as well on YouTube. If you don't follow her, she's very inspirational. I'll link her below. But um, Sonia Esman is a blog that I, or her blog is one that I follow all the time and I'm always looking to see if she posts new content. Just something that you can see that she puts her time in and her effort in and it very show, it shows through her blog 
posts. And these last little set of people is just Instagrammers that I love to follow. So if you are not following Oracle Fox, you need to follow Oracle Fox. Oracle Fox is, is amazing. Her photos are beautiful. Love her style, love her aesthetic, love her everything, love her white space. Everything about Oracle Fox is great. I also love Always Judging. Always Judging has an amazing style as well. You must follow Always Judging. She's just perfect. I love her style and the way that she portrays herself and what she always just does something new and exciting to get you motivated and wanna like see what she's gonna be doing next. So I think that's all for this video. I really just wanted to talk about my main style inspirations and where I draw inspiration from. So definitely give a scroll through the people I follow on Instagram as well. If you're already following me, you can do so at I'm Drew Scott. Look through those because all those people that I follow, I'm following them for a reason. That's because I draw inspiration from them. So give a look. I can't really talk about each and every one in this video. If I could, I would, but I can't. So give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Bye everybody.